What is going on beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness and welcome to another episode of Self-Aware Narcissist Sundays. This series is dedicated to the self-aware narcissist. For narcissists, the people out there, toxic people, maybe people, narcissistic traits, they want to be better. They want to work to work on themselves, actively want to pursue therapy and things like this. This is how I break down my therapy. This is how I got to the point where I am at right now. Um, being a self-aware narcissist on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and everywhere, y'all. Breaking down my story and how I go to therapy and how, I, how I've how i successfully um, implemented strategies to change my behaviors over the last six years of therapy. Today's episode is going to be about positive reinforcement, how narcissistic people, toxic people, need to positively reinforce their good behaviors, the time where they... The, the time where they suppress or not necessarily suppress the time where they choose a better behavior even though it might it might be tough like rewarding good behavior so to speak like give you <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's kind of like training a dog like giving a dog a treat when you when a dog does something that you wanted to do give it a treat give them a treat but i'm not calling narcissistic people animals because i myself am a narcissist so i'm not going to do i wouldn't do that I'm not, I, why would I disparage a group that I'm a part of, you know? Um, but yeah, just in that space right there, you have to learn how to reward b good, re good behaviors. You have to reinforce them positively because why else would you do them? You know what I mean? Why else do you, do you want to do something good that you're not getting rewarded for? Why else wouldn't you do it? And the, 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 you hear what I said at the beginning. I didn't say somebody else rewards you for those good behaviors. I said you, you, the narcissistic person. Toxic person, whoever you are, you have to reward your own good behaviors because you are the most important person on your healing journey. This is not me. This is not me saying that you you don't need help on your healing journey because you need a therapist, you need uh, a good support system, things like that. But you are absolutely the, the most important person on your healing journey. You hear what I say? This is your healing journey. So you have to positively reinforce your behaviors when you like. I tell this to people all the time. I am diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder, right? I've been in psychotherapy for the last six years and my first thought is still self-serving. My first thought is still coming from a, a place of self-defense, defending myself. Like if I, my first thought is to protect myself against perceived attacks. And what I mean by perceived attacks is like, I, you might be attacking me. Like whatever words you say, how I take it, I might perceive your criticism as a personal attack on me. So I'm always thinking about how to protect myself, defend myself in case something goes wrong, like worst case scenario type stuff right there. I'm always doing that. So if my first thought is that typically the first impulse is to protect yourself, defend yourself. So what I've done right now is to slow myself down. I've had to learn how to slow myself down. Before I react, I take a second to think. I take a second to think. Does it work every single time? No, I still slip up. Think things still slip through the crack every once in a while. But I most of the time I can catch myself. I can slow down. I was like, okay, my, this person in my life just said something. I took it as disrespect. It hurt my feelings. I'm angry as hell. I'm going to respond and hurt your feelings even more. But I take my time now. It's like I, I do it now. I take a deep breath. I was like, no, was this person actually attacking me? Or was this just something perceived? Are they trying to attack me or are they trying to help me? And if I say they are there trying to help me and I don't respond narcissistically or toxically, if I don't toxically, I don't know if that's a word. Is toxically a word? Um, if I don't respond in a toxic manner, I reward myself. I pat myself on the back, y'all. Self-appreciation. I pat myself on the back because you can't always depend on your partner to reinforce your good behavior, y'all. They're not gonna give you a damn dog treat. Your partner, you probably done some bad things to them over the history of your relationship and they might not be in a position to forgive you or reward one good deed over versus a versus a hundred bad deeds. You see what I'm saying? You might expect them to do that. You might expect them that you done cheated on them 10 times with people at the bar. The one time you turn somebody down, you want to run home and say, Hey honey, I could have cheated on you again, but I didn't. You expect them to clap you on your damn back for you could have cheated, but you didn't, but you already been cheating. You see what I'm saying? For, I could, hey, honey, I could have gambled, but I didn't. You expect them to, to celebrate that. You didn't gamble away your life savings already. But now 
after your life savings is gone, now you want appreciation for not gambling now. You see what I'm saying? You have to reinforce that good behavior because why? Yeah, they might be happy and proud that you did it, but you got them in the, you, you got you here in this predicament anyway. So you have to get yourself out of it. Don't expect your partner to always li- want to lift you up after you've hurt them. Why the hell would they do that? Because they love us. If they, if they love us, they'll, they'll help lift us up. You put them down. You might've put them down so low it's hard for them to lift them, lift you up. They got to lift themselves up. Nobody say you have to lift you up. You have to pat yourself on the back. If you gamble, if you have a gambling problem and then you could have gambled and you like, no, I'm not going to gamble. I talked myself out of it. Get hype for yourself. Clap for yourself. Like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I didn't do it. Hell yeah. I didn't. I could have lied right there. I didn't lie. I told the truth. Pat myself on the back. They don't expect them to pat you on the back. Don't have y'all. If, if they pat you on the back, good for them. Good for you. But if they don't, you have to be okay with that. You have to be okay with self gratification, self gratitude, self fulfillment, because you can't always depend on somebody else to fulfill your needs and wants, to validate you and pat you on the back after years of hurting them, months of hurting them, a decade of hurting them, decades of hurting them. You can't always expect that. Why would you? You see what I'm saying? You can't always expect your partner to be there for you. You can't expect that. You can't anticipate that. You can't do it. So you, the only thing you can anticipate is you patting yourself on the back. Does it feel good by just doing it, by celebrating by yourself? No, not all the time. But once you get used to doing it and being proud of yourself, you, hey, yo, once you get, once you get used to doing things and rewarding your own good behavior, y'all, and you can be proud of yourself. That's so empowering. It just, yeah, when you can be proud of yourself, pat yourself on the back. Nobody can take that away from you. Other people can take their validation away at any moment in time. But when you are proud of yourself, when I am proud of myself, no one can take that from me. No one can take that from me. If I'm when I'm proud of me, when I'm thankful for me, when I love me, the self-love brand, y'all know the self-love brand is available. Um, when I love me, no one else can take that away from me. So, yes, narcissistic people in this position have to learn how to positively reinforce their own behaviors. Give yourself a treat. Give yourself a treat. When Every time you say no, every time you do something good when you could have did something bad, every time you make a better decision than you used to make, you used to make, pat yourself on the back. Do it. Try it. Hell yeah. You don't have to necessarily, yeah, you don't have to actively pat yourself on the back. You can do a fist pump. You can flex. You can flip. Mm, I did it. Mm, yeah. Be proud of yourself, y'all, because a lot of the time we, as a narcissist, a lot of time we lose pride in ourselves because we do so many bad things. Like we do so many bad things that we beat ourselves up. We think we are bad people and we damn near self-destruct and self-destroy ourselves. Well, I've already been bad. I might as well keep being bad. I already, I'm never going to get forgiven, so I might as well keep being bad. Why would I change if I'm not going to be forgiven for everything I've ever done? You see what I'm saying? Put the work in. Be proud of you. Be proud of how far you've come. Be proud. Be be proud. Be proud of how far you're going to go. Narcissist or not, toxic person or not, be proud of your damn self, y'all. Some of some like I said, so many of us beat ourselves up. In our, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to get the light, and I'm sitting in the living room. Um, so many of us beat ourselves up, and we, you can make better decisions. A lot of times, y'all. A lot of times it takes one better decision. I'm not telling you to make a thousand better decisions in a week. They can overwhelm yourself, y'all. And you, you, you just can't do that. Baby steps are still steps. If you can take baby steps in the right direction, you can go, like I said, you can heal, you can grow, you can empower yourself on this journey of self-development, of self-empowerment. You can. You know what I mean? When people say narcissists can't change, I always say, look, they have to want it for themselves. Nobody else can force you to do it. If you don't do it, y'all, you can probably be by yourself. Well, Lee, I can find somebody else. I'm rich. I'm Lee. I'm handsome. Hey, Lee, I'm beautiful. Hey, Lee, I, I got a, I got a nice set of cheeks on me. I'll get, I can find somebody else. Yeah, you can find somebody else, but you're gonna lose them too. You're gonna lose them too. You're gonna grow old and be. You might not grow old and be alone, but you're gonna be lonely. You might have somebody with you, but you're gonna be lonely because you're not gonna be connected to that person. You're just gonna have a body in the house, and you're just gonna be a body in the house, a warm body in the house. You see what I'm saying? Do you want that or you want an actual emotional connection with your partner? You have to put the work in. You have to be proud of yourself for how far you go, how far you've come and how far you're going. That's why me. Yo, I know y'all think I get a lot of love on social media because I have a couple million people that follow me. I get a lot of hate, too. 
I get hate. I get videos. I hate that guy. He's just pandering. Oh, he added to the stigma. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Blah, blah, blah. Boo, boo, boo. Bee, bee, bee. I get, I get other self-aware narcissists that cry and whine and just be soiling, soiling their damn pants. Angry at me because I've got this platform and I'm helping so many people. Yeah, I'm not going to stop. I'm, I'm proud of me. And when I, like I told you, when I'm proud of me, no one can take that away from me. You can't knock me off my pedestal because I'm not on a pedestal. I'm on a, I'm on a stepping stool. I just stood up a little bit. I'm on, I'm on, you can't not, look, I'm on my tippy toes. I'm just, <laughs> I'm on my tippy toe. I'm, I'm, st <laughs> I'm standing on my own two feet. You can't knock me over. I'm standing on my own two feet, y'all. I'm empowering myself. I hope you empower yourself. I hope, this, I hope you get something from this video and take the necessary steps in the right direction to positively reinforce your own good behaviors. You've been, posit you've been reinforcing the bad ones long enough. Now it's time to positively reinforce the good ones. Empower yourself. Be as strong as you possibly can. You know what I mean? And like I said, if y'all have any, some, any more suggestions for videos like this, just shoot, shoot, me with a, shoot me an email. Like I said, shoot me an email. Leave a comment in here and say, hey, Lee, I'm a narcissist. And this what, what, what do you think about this? I'm doing self aware Sundays, y'all. The series, like I said, overall, the views, this is part of my lowest view series, but I'm not going to stop doing it because I like doing it. I like talking about this type of stuff right here. Anyways, y'all, like and subscribe for more. Go to therapy. Mental illness is out. Peace. What is going on, beautiful people? Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video, watching it all the way through, y'all. If you haven't already, go ahead, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, y'all. Turn on notifications so you don't miss a video and whatnot, and so we can help reach more people. Like I said in the beginning, the self-love brand is available. Um, I have a self-love journal that's available on Amazon as well to help you rebuild that self-love. Lee Hammock, I love me on um, Amazon and whatnot. I also do one-on-ones over Zoom and such as well, y'all. Like and subscribe for more. Mental illness is out. Peace.